Good afternoon. My name is Ibrahim Babatode. I'm going to teach you how to extract data from a given table or let's say data page using Microsoft Excel. There are many functions built in Excel in which you can use to extract data. Among these functions is Field Lookup, which many people know how to use but apart from free lookup we also have other two functions in which you can use to manipulate or extract your data from a given table <coughs> which include index and match as well as some products many people don't know that we can make use of some product to extract data in the given table <coughs> if you don't want to make use of a field lookup or index match, let's use this table as an example and see how we can achieve our aim. From this, we want to know the number of the sales made by Josie in the month of October. The easiest way to do this is to make use of field lookup. Up. Let us make use of field lookup. Then equal to field lookup. Field lookup function. Double click it. What is our field lock? Field lookup value, and that is the Josie. You can quote it because it's a string. Write Josie. Josie and your quotes. Then comma table array. What is our table array? Our table array start from the up here, then go like this, control shift down, okay, comma, column index. We have to count it in the month of October, starting from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is column 11. So we write 11 then it, it except we ask you either you want to approximate match or the exact match here we want exact match then you will double click force then click enter and that is 32 if we look at it this is october you see we can see this is 32 another method that you can also use to ex to extract this data and get the same result is index and match the index and match has a advantage over the field lock field look up function because it will allow you to look into your data in any direction either left or to the right let's make use of index and match and see either we will get the same result or not right equal to okay index index double click okay what is our index array our index array is where i want my result to come out and where i want my result to come out and that is october you know i want it from the month of uh, october then click it Control shift down arrow okay comma comma okay rule number and column number i don't need this i have to use match function to match it with my index okay match what is my lookup value my lookup value is you see you see you will quote it as we did it under the free lookup you see you see and your quotation comma comma okay then this is where i will find you see control shift down arrow comma exact match you can type zero okay press enter enter okay 32 can you see that we get the same result with the field lookup function okay let's move to question two what is juno says in june okay if you can see we can see that the question two is similar to that of question one i don't need to solve that 
you can use the same principle to get the answer for the question two. I think being that I make my the the name of the six person variable like I use the data validation so that I can bring it from the uh, drop list. It will be easier for me. But let's move to question three. Here, I have some uh, complex stuff here. Yeah? They said that what is the total sales of Joseph and John in June? Okay, I have two persons here, yeah? but in the month of June, how do I achieve this? It's very simple. I can use fee lookup to achieve this, as well as uh, some product to achieve it. Okay, firstly, let me you make use of a uh, fee lookup as I started earlier on in the question one is equal to fee lookup okay sorry i want to sum it write some first sum okay so double click it okay you can now write fee lookup fee look fee look up okay i need joseph first joseph quote it joseph because it's a string Jose okay and the quotation comma that is my lookup value table array what is my table array my table array start from here control shift right arrow down arrow okay comma column index in which month month of june and if you count it from here it will be seven column to be two three four five six seven that is seven right seven then command i want a search value which is first double click it okay and the and the quotation and the bracket okay comma write another fill lookup fill lookup double click it okay i need for john now quotation john close the quotation comma the same table array from Joseph here, okay, comma, the same month which is shown, and that is seven, comma, a search value, double click it and press enter, okay, press yes, okay, 40, that's correct, that's correct, Joseph and John in the month of June. If we go to month of shoot, that is 28 plus 12. Can we see that we get the result? Fine. Then let's make use of some product. Either we will achieve the same result or not. Is equal to some product. Some product. Okay. Some product. Then we will now look <coughs> that some array. Array one is my table. The table in which I want my result to come out. Here is the table I want my result to come out. Okay. And to shift it down. Comma. Okay. Good. Then I will let me open the bracket. Okay. I need Joseph. Okay. Position Joseph. Joseph and the quotation is equal to then you will now go to where you find the Joseph column down okay then close the bracket shift close the bracket then I also need John there since I need John and, and this they are in the same column okay I will make use of plus plus Plus, I will open another parenthesis for John. Then, of position, John, John, and the quotation, comma, comma. Open the bracket. Sorry, I don't need comma here. I will just equal it. Equal to okay the same thing the same column control shift down okay then 
I have to close it. Close my bracket. Okay. I have to close my bracket. But it is in the month of what? Month of June. I need it the month of June. That is another. Th we find that one under the uh, column from uh, January to December. Then I will now equate. Uh, sorry. I will multiply it. I will use multiplication here now because they are not belong to to same array. Okay. Then multiply by then at month of June. The same apply June. Obviously put quotation because it shrinks. June. And the quotation is equal to then it start from here January. To December and this but I need to double packet it here so that it will give me my normal result okay then I can now press enter enter hey, sorry what happened that's an issue that's an issue here where does issue come from where does an issue come from? Does it mean that I need another paint this year? Okay. Okay. I need another one here. Sorry. I need another one here. I need another one here. I need only two. Okay. Then enter. Correct. Can you see that I got the same result? Okay, that's fine. Making use of fill lookup and also make use of uh, some product. You can see that it gave me the same result. This will mark the end of today's lecture. By God's grace, tomorrow or uh, probably on Monday, I'm going to release another interesting video in which we can learn to uh, one or more things. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Remain Ibrahim Babatunde. See you. Use Excel and be Excel.